cracking peeps it's Jax and yes welcome back to Immure where in today's video we're going to try and get as many of the achievements as possible now the achievement that I want to get the most and also just to just talk about the connections between Sally face and Immure well uh, that was really bad timing by the way so one of the developers for Immure uh, from Wither Studios who does this game is Steve Gabry as we know who was the sole creator for Sally Face and obviously as we've seen with the mask and stuff in the, the non-commentary video because I was just playing around with the game and then I saw it um, there's a Sally Face mask that you can unlock so I want to do that today now I know how to do it I just need to get past him to do it go 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 right okay so this is going to be interesting, right, for you Sally Face lovers out there. This code, the code we have to put in for this instead of the normal one for the game, is apparently it's the 1486. Something has happened somewhere else. I'm dead though. Oh, that was good timing. So it said something has happened somewhere else. What's that noise? Oh, the lift. All oh, right, yeah. Um, but we have to basically finish the game off um, before we can see the mask and stuff. Oh god. But yeah, apparently the reason why one eight one four eight six is significant. If any of you already picked it up, I'm reading in Sally Face Sal's prison number. The number that he always had on his uh, prison overalls is zero eight one four eight six. As it just so happens, eight. Eight, as it just so happens, the eighth of the fourteenth in eighty-six is also Steve's birthday. So there you go. That's why the number on Sal's overalls is significant because it's Steve Gabri's birthday. Did not know that. Okay. The only reason I wanted to come up here because I don't know if it will make a difference. Uh, well, hang on, what's that? Is that? Oh yeah, we need the we need the apartment keys. Naturally. Um. But I also want, I don't want the drawings because we're not doing that. We're not doing the good ending. Um, what's interesting is, right, there's only 11 achievements to this game. And judging from the Steam community, the guides and stuff, one of the achievements, well, technically two, because uh, the last achievement is you've unlocked all the achievements. Well done. Um, but, oh, really? Don't make me shoot you, because I'll do it. I'll end your life. Sometimes it's a bit stupid. I'm pretty sure I shot him like four times. So yeah, I did want to use this video to kind of just talk about Imuel and Sally Face and the connections that they have. Uh, just generally whilst we play throughout the game so we can get to the Sally Face mask. Right, this room this room we've been into and nothing has happened so there's something about that room that is an achievement I guarantee it um, a table can set up da, 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 da. Right, what do we need to do what have we got the dirty apartment keys we need to go to the first floor <laughs> the, the mask is sticking out of the that's funny I meant to put a warning on the last video and I didn't. I did it. Finally. The void takes the frail and praises the tenacious. That's when I need to get out. And look, she was right. She just so happens to be right there as well, which is so weird. Why did you do it, Will? Why could we... We could have helped him. I'm not Will. I'm Poop, the safe room guy. Time to get out of here. So, what does it tell us? This game, it talks. Of, it, it's clearly about time and about space and about reality and stuff like that. Jesus, it looks like it was crucified on the wall. Can't say I feel good about what I had to do, but I'll do whatever it takes. Best not to think about it. Give me the esoteric metallic shard. Right, and we're back in the mansion. We've read that before. Um, right now, the important thing is we can now. Um, go get our Sally face mask. 
Oh look, it's this door, which still won't open. Maybe it will open with the Sally Fester. This is what I'm hoping, that one that wearing one mask will enter a new door. Ah, uh, here it is! A prosthetic mask that once belonged to the man named Sal Fisher. Oh, snap. So Will's just going for the full cosplay. Um, right, one of those doors in the mansion must be for Sal. Do you know what I mean? Right, what, what's this guy going to... Look, we don't look like you now, we look like Sal. Talk to us. Well, I did what was asked. Yep, we know about that. Da, 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 da. It was signed Walt, the owner of the mansion. <laughs> right, okay, talk. I do. Look, look at me. I've got something to say. I mean, like, look at me. Whatever, dude. Whatever. Now let's just go back to that room real quick because on the Steam community page it says that people have unlocked the crow mask although they're having technical difficulties with the achievement. Now I tweeted at Withers Studios a couple of times basically just being like are all of the achievements possible? They they say yes. They say that they're all all possible but no one has been able to get um, the other mask. So strange. Are these subjects in the paintings arbitrary? See, there's something, something to do with the paintings. Something, because one of the uh, achievements that helped us unlock this door was that we had to find all of the faces within pictures on the wall. Remember? So doing finding all of those, which we did actually first time, uh, that enabled this door to open. Now, getting this one. The plaque reads, A mask of a legendary shadow creature, half boy and half wolf, known as Wolf Boy. It remains a mystery to this day as to whether or not his search for humanity is in vain. A mask of a legendary shadow creature, half man and half crow, known only as Crow Man. And it again remains a mystery as to whether his search for humanity is in vain. So yeah, for me, personally, please give me some ideas in the comments for how we can unlock those last two masks because it's it's too interesting that all of there's like three to four doors in the mansion that you can't open you can't open this wooden door you can't open this metallic door you can't open the children's door there's something about that you can't open that door what does it say about that you would see for a child's room Oh, maybe we maybe we kill the firefighter in that room, but I don't know. Does it have any significance? There's just that empty room. I don't know. Right, can we go through the door? I'm open and I'm surprised I can even grasp down. I can see what appears to be a door, but is it ethereal? I don't know. Try going through it, Sal. Couch. Probably not a good idea. Blah, 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 blah. Is that me? Nothing changes. <sighs> Profile poop. Oh. Okay guys, let me know your thoughts and the connections between Imure and Sally Face and if there's potentially something like there could there could be a hidden secret for Sally Face in Imure. I don't know. There's two masks we don't know how to get. There's a lot of doors in the mansion that we can't open yet. What's, what's the more bit? Achievements. See that. We've got all those. <sighs> this one. What does it mean? Concept art. Maybe there's something in here. The original concepts. Oh, I like it though, it's good. 
What the frig? Space to toggle tech. Whoa. That's definitely grittier. Whoa, what is that? Dreamed up in the wonderfully dark mind of one of our artists, Steve Gabry. Final example of early concept art. Ooh, creepy. That was ultimately cut from the game. He's creepy. The first iteration of the safe room guy. Interesting. They went with the crow thing. Is there any secrets that we can glean from them? Some of the ideas. Ooh. The fireman and Anne Marie. What the hell is that? Concept for a future wraith idea. We want each wraith in the game to feel unique, as well as the environment that they occupy. The captain. Oh, that looks familiar. Concept for a future wraith idea. We take a lot of inspiration, not just from the of the movies. That is freaking creepy, man. So, what it seems like it would be is that if it's done in chapters, again, I guess that kind of makes sense because each chapter will will be taken to a different reality or a different world to deal with the wraiths and to make judge to pass judgment on them in his own way so that he can find out what he wants oh man some of these wraith ideas are creepy the trapezohedron early ideas oh that is interesting ideas for how it's sort of attached to him. Interesting. Various environment concepts. Makes sense, yeah. Originally we had the demo open up an outside shot of the mansion. Before we developed the idea of the gateway and the metal shards, we were playing with the idea of a large glass door with missing pieces. Okay. We went through many different ideas of the safe room door. Okay. Great concept made for the bridge. A great concept that was made for the bridge in the mansion. Saying any more than that would be falling into spoiler territory. Interesting. Concepts for the unearthly dagger that Will finds within his nightmare. So is there a lot more to that? I don't know. When talking to the safe room guy, original idea for Will was to interact with something. One idea was for him to wear a mask. Which was implemented at one time. So there's there, there's a theme about masks in the game. It's definitely a theme about masks. Desk man. Very early UI concept for a dialogue system. Oh, I'm glad they didn't do that. I like it how it is. Ha! <laughs> the original prototype of the game. Nice. Ha. <laughs> okay. Um. I guess I'm just, I'm just going to go through that just in case there was any more secrets. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you have any ideas about these last couple of achievements. I really want to get them and I want to piece together the connections between the two games. Naturally there's something there. It, it doesn't have. It doesn't necessarily mean that there, there really is. Um, it just so happens that Steve Gabry's working on this game. Uh, and Sally Face and there's a lot of obviously references and you know the masks and stuff like that which is very very cool I like the idea that they're both set in the same universe somehow and if Will goes to different realities maybe Sal is a wraith or something like that that would be seriously cool anyway thanks so much for watching as always if you did enjoy the video hit the like button for me guys because it really really does help me out if you want to hit, the like button, hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell and check out some of the other videos i've got going on thanks so much for watching as always have yourselves a fantastic day and i'll see you in the next video